And next, strangers intervening in the nick of time. It was a scene that had everyone holding their breath today as a mother with three children in her minivan drove into the ocean, into the crashing waves, the children waving for help. ABC's Steve Osinsami shows us how some passing strangers saved the day. They weren't going to let it happen. Two men passing by and three lifeguards watching a car with three children inside driving straight into the ocean. It began like this. One of those good Samaritans driving down the beach sees the minivan and hears children screaming. Are oh, they saying help? Believe your eyes, that's a child waving out the window. Tim Tessinier in the green jacket from North Carolina jumps out his car, his wife recording it all, the young boy still waving. And there's one kid in the back seat just screaming, you know, help us, help us. Our mom's trying to kill us. 21-year-old Stacy Robinson at the beach with his girlfriend runs into the water as the car falls into the sea. By the time I ran over, uh, I get there, I noticed the son was snatching at the wheel trying to get her to come back towards the shore. He says the mother just kept driving. When I was speaking to her, her eyes was like, was, was wide. wide. He uses the power windows to get the windows down and his arms around two of the children, the surf up to his chest. He told us he wished he had three hands because he saw a baby strapped in a car seat in the back. Lifeguards struggle to open the front door. That's the mother trying to stop them. Watch again, there's a struggle, and then the mother just walks away. Seconds later, they get the baby out through the back of the minivan, one of the two lifeguards still inside, barely getting out in time. And just five seconds later, look closely, a huge wave nearly pushes the car out to sea. If it had been minutes longer, um, the probably outcome probably would have been different. Late today, police identified the mother, 32-year-old Ebony Wilkerson from South Carolina, Police say she was pregnant and that her family called them earlier in the day, warning she had, quote, mental issues. Police say they reached out to her, but she had done nothing wrong. A few hours later, she would end up on the beach directly behind me. Tonight, she's undergoing mental evaluations. Her children, ages 3, 9, and 10, are all in state custody, and they're alive because a few men decided to get involved. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Daytona Beach.